have long hair again. Surprise! Yeah. Um, if you are, have been subscribed for a while or followed me on Twitter, anything like that, you would know that my hair used to be about an inch or so, um, like under my belly button, like the length, and I cut it off for lots of love. I cut about 14 inches, I'd say, um, and I cut it to about here, and now it's just kind of grown, but um, so this is like a big deal for me. I have my hair back because even though I love my short hair, I also love my long hair and I just, um, you know, just, I like both and I just really miss my long hair sometimes. So I was like, hey, I'm going to get extensions. I've never had extensions before, obviously, because as long as I can remember, my hair was long and yeah, so, um, so these extensions are $200, $199. But I'm pretty sure they are on sale for $179 or $169. I will leave the link to the website, of course, down below. And also the exact color that I have. I have the dark blonde or natural blonde, I believe. Um, it's And when I got them, I was so afraid that they would be too light. And in the tutorial that you will see at the end of this kind of like talking part, um, they look so light. Like right when I put them in, they look super light. And they're like, no, these are not going to match my color. But um, they have... This color match technology like you see in BB creams and foundations and primers and stuff like that. It matches to your color, I guess. These extensions aren't one ex like one flat color like a lot of extensions. They have four to four to six, I believe, different shades, um, different strands of color, and that just helps blend everything. And even if your hair doesn't match it exactly perfect, once you put them in, it they it just like blends seamlessly like my sister has lighter hair than me it's like lighter than this and she put them in uh, she like just kind of put them next to her hair and like just kind of put them in it and it matched her too um, so that is why they don't have too many color options but um, just get the one closest to your hair and it will definitely um, like match to it like I'm amazed how well it like matches uh, yeah so um, so if you are going to buy extensions, buy these. They are 100% um, natural human runny hair, which is the best. You should get natural human hair because um, that means you can style them like normal hair. You can put heat on them, wash them with normal shampoo and conditioner. Um, and you don't want to buy ex extensions that you can't style with heat because like what's the point of that? And they are superior 7A grade. Um, so these are the best of the best um, quality and you can tell, you can feel it. They feel like... Ex like normal hair they look like they're not they don't look plastic they don't look um I mean you can see for yourself they look like hair um because a lot of extensions are super shiny or like glossy but these have you know they have shine to them like at when they hit the light but they aren't like like bang in your face they look plastic um because they're not plastic they are human hair um so, um, they have one size choice and it is 10 pieces, which, yeah, I have obviously, and it is 180 gram clip-in extensions, um, and it's perfect for most people. You can definitely, you know, use more, you can use less, um, you don't have to use all the clips, but I choose to just because my hair is thick, so it just kind of takes all of them to let it blend, um, perfectly. So, um, it covers your whole head from bottom to top, or not like up here because you don't want your extensions up there, and sides. Um, what is great about these that they are, I wish I could, I had one. Actually, I'll take one out. Um, <laughs> they are thick from the top to the bottom. They aren't, they don't like start thick and then like get like thin and like worn out. Um, this one is just like a one clip. They come with two four clips, two three clips, two two clips, and then four one clips. And this is one of the one clips. And if you can see, it is thick, the same thickness throughout. And they come straight. Uh, so if you have naturally like straight hair, you don't really have to style them like the first time you got them. But I think that if a, say it doesn't really completely match your hair or something like that or you just your haircut looks weird with it curling your hair with your extensions blends them in 10 times better than with them straight but I just wanted you to sh see them straight because that's how they come um, they come in this package 
And on the back, this is where they come. They, I obviously have them in right now, but they are wrapped in this little net. And, um, yeah, so these are 51 centimeters long or 20 inches. 20 inches. Um, yeah, so they are triple weft and they are sewn in so well. The clips are like triple sewn or something like that, and they will, like, they are sturdy, sturdy clips. And you can, like, pull on them. Like, I'm, like, ow. Like, I'm literally pulling it and it's not, like, budging. Um, so yeah, this is the packet, and in this, it has, like, a front thing with a little, um, like, sample piece, which is just a one clip. So, um, what you want to do when you get the package, this ships in, like, a week, I'd say, and it comes from Denmark, so that's really good. Um, but... Yeah, so it just has a little trial piece, and you want to match that to your hair before you open this, because once you open this and you take it out of the um, net, you can't return it, um, so you want to definitely try out the, um, the, what's it called? The trial sample piece first. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, uh, I will link the Estelle Secret, like, YouTube videos down below, um, for, like, washing and stuff like that, because if I added that in this video, it would be super long, but, um, and the ends are cut, like, not straight across, they are cut, cut super softly, like, and they just blend so well, and they look just, like, so real, like, what? I don't get it. See, you can see, um... Okay, well, you can't really see. You'll see in the tutorial, but, um, yeah, my hair is kind of like an awkward length right now, so it doesn't look, like, perfect with straight hair, but, um, as you can see in the clip that I am showing right here, and, um, yeah, so, um, so, oh, this one isn't hidden very well, but see, like, <laughs> um, but overall, these extensions are awesome. I'm so happy that even though they were gifted to me, I'm so happy that I, you know, said, yeah, I will review them, blah, blah, blah. I've been wearing them for a day or so, two, two days, and, uh, they are just like, I am in love with them, and I love having long hair, um, but, you know, again, I love having short hair, too, because it's like, some outfits look cuter with short hair and long hair, you know, you know what I'm saying? So if you have short hair, if you recently cut your hair and you just want, you know, you want your long hair back, definitely get these. They are $200. Ask for them for your birthday or Christmas or save up your money from birthday or Christmas um, or whatever holidays you celebrate and I would say definitely get these bad boys. So um, I've been talking for a long time. So um, let's move on to the tutorial part. And yeah. So first you want to section off the bottom of your hair and if you have shorter hair like me, you want to um, pin up the bottom section. This will make sure that you don't have the tiny short little hairs coming out um, in kind of like the inner portions of your hair if that makes sense. So you want to pin up one or two sections. It depends on how short your hair is. But for me, I only have to do one. Um, so if your hair is about at your shoulders, you might have to do, like, pin up, like, half of your head. Um, it all just depends because you don't want the tiny little pieces coming around your neck. Um, once you do that, you want to section off another section, obviously, and you are going to be sectioning off a lot of sections, so get used to it. Get a good clip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So first, you want to take your three clip and clip that in right on the part. You always want to clip in the center clip first. And then the outer clip, this will give it more grip and just help the spacing. And now, put it down again, another section. You always want to brush out your extension before you put it in. This is a four clip. This is the shortest of four clips. So you want to put the shorter of the cl four clips um, first. So again, put in the two center clips first and then the outer clip. And next you want to come in with a, another four clip. 
and go ahead and clip that in again. Same thing, over and over, same thing. And this is the longer of the four clips. Next, you want to brush out your extension again and use your number three clip. Um, I ended up moving this one. As you can see, I barely sectioned it. I didn't realize. I wasn't looking in the mirror. Um, but you want to put um, more hair in between the sections than I did here. And I ended up changing it, but you don't see in the clip. So, um, and then just clip that in. A little repetitive. You getting it? You got it? And then um, you want to just kind of brush it out periodically because, um, yeah. And then now we're moving on to the side. Um, this will kind of bring it all together. You want to take a two clip and um, I section this. I try to section like the arch of my brow. Besides, this was a little too high. Um, but I'm still playing around with this again. But just whatever works on your hair and your thickness and clip in the two clips on the sides of your head. The ones on the sides, you want to clip the first clip closest to your face first. Um, and this will make sure that you don't, it doesn't get too close to your forehead because then you'll be able to see it, you know, and that's not good. So then brush it out, flip the rest of your hair, and then you want to repeat that same thing on the other side with your other two clips, just like that. And then from here, this is kind of where you can get it to all come together with um, the one clips, which I use these to just put wherever I feel like I need to, wherever I feel like my short hair is showing too much. I mostly... Uh, I put one here by my bangs, um, just kind of break up the shortness. Um, and then it's also a good place to put them kind of behind your ear. Um, if you can see, I have a few shorter hairs, and that just breaks it up and makes it look more natural. And then one on the other side. So um, just put the four clips where, I mean the one clips, wherever you um, feel like they're needed most. And if that's too confusing for you, here is a little review diagram thing. So screenshot this. Do what you want with this. Um, this just kind of shows the placements of the clip. So um, I ended up straightening my natural hair more to make it blend. And that is it. Okay, that is it. I hope that you enjoy this video. Let me know what videos you want to see next. Definitely check out their website. Order some extensions if your hair is long, is short, I mean. And they add so much thickness, too. Um, like, this isn't even all of it. Like, that's all of it. Like, whoa. But, yeah. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you soon.